In the case for green light for Manhattan, the results of our study are very encouraging, and on today I'm pleased to announce we've decided to make this groundbreaking project permanent. Our decision to introduce these improvements along Broadway and ultimately to make them permanent were inspired by two key factors, better mobility and greater safety. And I think it's an example of the kind of results that we want to deliver on the streets of New York citywide, streets that are safer, streets that are more attractive, streets that work in a variety of different contexts. Um, and now that Mayor Bloomberg has announced uh, that the new Broadway is here to stay, we will work on designing a new world-class space uh, for a new center stage uh, in the heart uh, of New York City. And I just want to say on behalf of the people that work in the neighborhood, that come to the theaters, that come to the hotels, the overwhelming majority of people that come into Times Square are not driving. And it's important that traffic not have gotten worse, but the, the problem from our point of view that is being solved by this is more than just having to do with you know, a minute or two of traffic improvement. It has to do with the fundamental experience of being in Times Square. Three quarters of New Yorkers surveyed think the area has improved. So did two thirds of the people from the region and 60% of Times Square workers and 60% of property owners and building executives and 71% of local retail managers. And incidentally, there are other parts of the city where we are getting lots of calls from merchants who want the same kind of thing. This is a 21st century idea. The 20th century idea was three lanes of noisy, annoying traffic going right past all these great institutions and stores. The 21st century idea is seating and pedestrian life dominating and traffic being subsidiary. Are the roads for multiple uses, everybody, pedestrians, bicyclists, uh, and motorists, or are they just for motorists? And in this day and age, if you go around the world, all the other great cities have uh, already uh, tried to reduce the number of cars on their streets and convert some of the open spaces into space for other people.